Have you ever been alone at home only to feel as if you're not truly alone? A chilling question indeed. It's a common experience, that eerie feeling of being watched, the sense of a presence just beyond the corner of your eye. It's easy to brush it off as a mere trick of the mind, a product of our overactive imaginations. But what if it's not? Today we delve into the realm of the unexplained, the eerie, and the downright terrifying. We're about to explore five true stories of individuals who, while seemingly safe in the sanctity of their own homes, found themselves in the midst of horrifying events. Each tale is unique, each sends shivers down the spine, and each is absolutely true. From the shadow that wasn't just a shadow to the unseen intruder, the unwanted call, the phantom knock, and finally, the unseen watcher, these stories remind us that sometimes our fears may not be as unfounded as we'd like to think. Let us venture into the first of these five haunting tales. Imagine being alone, and yet you see an unfamiliar shadow dancing on your wall. The scene unfolds on an ordinary night. The protagonist, let's call him John, is home alone, comfortably wrapped in the silence of his own solitude. His only company is the rhythmic ticking of the clock and the flickering light from the TV screen. But then, something strange catches his eye. A shadow, an inexplicable silhouette, is dancing on the wall. It's not his, nor does it belong to any recognizable object in his room. John's heart begins to race, pumping adrenaline through his veins as he tries to find a logical explanation. He checks the windows, but they're shut tight. He looks around for any possible source of the shadow, but his search yields nothing. The shadow continues its eerie waltz, a silent puppet show on his wall. The silence is soon broken by a soft rustling sound, like the whisper of leaves in the wind, but indoors. John freezes, his breath hitching in his throat. His home, his sanctuary, is suddenly transformed into a stage for a chilling mystery. With a sense of dread curling in his stomach, John decides to investigate further. He follows the sound, each step echoing in the silence of the night. It leads him to the attic, a place he hasn't ventured into for years. The rustling grows louder, more urgent. The air grows colder, goosebumps pricking his skin. And then he sees it, hidden behind dusty boxes and forgotten memorabilia, an old mirror. A mirror that shouldn't be there. The reflection it casts is not of the cluttered attic, but of his room, his safe haven. And there in the mirror he sees the source of the shadow, a figure standing silently in his room watching the TV. John's blood turns to ice. He rushes back to his room but it's empty. The TV is still on and the shadow is still there dancing on the wall. Just a shadow or a spectral presence? The truth may be more terrifying than you think. What if the safety of your locked home was breached by an unseen intruder? A question that sends chills down the spine, isn't it? Home. Our sanctuary. Our fortress. But what happens when an unseen force invades this sacred space? Our story unfolds with an individual who, while alone at home, encountered a series of inexplicable events. Picture this. A quiet evening, the house still and silent, save for the occasional ticking of the clock. The individual, let's call him John, was engrossed in a riveting novel. As time ticked away, he noticed something odd. Objects around him seemed to be moving by themselves. A coffee cup nudged a few inches away, a book on the shelf tilted slightly askew. Now, John was a rational man, but this, this was unsettling. The eerie occurrences didn't stop there. Strange noises echoed throughout the house, scratching sounds from the walls, faint whispers from empty rooms. John, now gripped with unease and fear, decided to investigate. He searched every nook and cranny, every shadowy corner, but found nothing. No evidence of an intruder, no signs of a break-in. Yet the oddities persisted, days turned into weeks, and the events escalated. The noises grew louder, the objects moved more drastically. Fear turned into paranoia. John was living in a nightmare, trapped within his own home. One fateful night, the chilling revelation came. From the corner of his eye, John saw a shadowy figure darting across the hallway. A chill ran down his spine. There it was, the unseen intruder, an entity, a presence, violating his sanctuary. No longer unseen, yet faceless, an intruder that left no trace, yet its presence was felt stronger than ever. The haunting tale of John and his unseen intruder is a chilling reminder that sometimes, the things we can't see can be the most terrifying. What started as a series of inexplicable events led to a horrifying revelation, an unseen intruder, a violation of sanctity, Brace yourself for our next tale. A ringing phone can be a source of dread, especially when you're alone and the caller is unexpected. Picture this. It's a chilly winter's night and you're home alone, the house blanketed in an eerie silence. 
The only sounds are the faint ticking of the clock and your own heartbeat echoing in your ears. Suddenly the shrill ring of the phone slices through the quiet, causing your heart to skip a beat. You pick up the phone, hoping it's a friend or a family member checking in. But the voice on the other end is unfamiliar, cold and distant. The caller claims to know you but you can't place the voice. Every question you ask is met with a vague, unsettling response. The conversation is a labyrinth, each turn leading you deeper into a sense of unease. The caller knows things, things that only someone close to you would know. Your favorite color, the name of your childhood pet, the book you're currently reading. The details are intimate, the implications chilling, fear begins to creep in, the icy tendrils of panic wrapping around your heart. Who is this person? How do they know so much about you? The conversation continues, the caller's voice never wavering, their words growing more unnerving. They share a story, a memory of something that happened years ago, a story that only you and one other person know. The realization hits you like a punch to the gut. The other person, they're no longer alive. The line goes dead and you're left gasping for breath, your mind racing, your heart pounding in your chest. The room feels colder, the silence louder. The unanswered questions hang in the air like specters, haunting your thoughts. The phone, once a lifeline, has become an instrument of terror. The fear lingers, shadowing your every move, tainting your every thought. For the rest of the night, every creak, every rustle, every whisper of the wind sends a shiver down your spine. An innocent call, turn sinister, but there's more to come. A knock at the door is normal, but what if there's no one there when you answer? Our fourth tale takes us on an unnerving journey. It's about a person who, while home alone, began to hear an insistent knock at the door. The sound was rhythmic, persistent, echoing through the silent house. It was unmistakably a knock, not the creaking of an old house or the rustling of leaves outside. But each time the inhabitant opened the door, they were met with an empty doorstep. The first few times, the person dismissed it as a prankster playing knock, knock, ginger. But as the night grew darker, the knocks grew louder, more urgent. The person's pulse quickened with each knock, their palms sweaty as they gripped the doorknob. But every time, there was nothing but the chilly night air and the quiet street beyond. As the evening wore on, the knocking turned into a cacophonous pounding, as if someone was desperate to get in. The person felt their heart pounding in their chest, matching the rhythm of the knock, yet every time they opened the door there was nothing, no one. The tension reached a fever pitch when the person decided to wait by the door peering through the peephole. They waited, breath held for the next knock, and when it came they saw nothing, no one was there. Yet the door rattled with the force of the knock, the person was left shaken, filled with an indescribable fear. Who or what was responsible for the phantom knock? Was it a cruel trick of the mind, a result of being alone for too long? Or was there something more sinister at play? An empty doorstep, a phantom knocker. But the final story may be the most terrifying of all. Have you ever felt watched even when you're alone? Let's delve into our final tale, a chilling story of an unseen watcher. Picture it, a quiet home nestled in a seemingly peaceful neighborhood. An individual, let's call him Alex, finds himself home alone. As the evening settles in, so does an unsettling feeling of being watched. Alex shakes it off, attributing it to his overactive imagination. But the feeling persists, a prickling sensation on the back of his neck, a cold shiver down his spine. The mundane sounds of the house become ominous whispers in the dark, the rustling of leaves outside, the creaking of floorboards, every little noise amplifies his fear. Then, the climax, a shadow flits across the hallway just at the edge of his vision, was it real or just a trick of the light? We may never know. An unseen watcher, a chilling climax, remember, when you're home alone you may not be alone at all.